Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Jeremy J. Got a longer video to do. I know my last couple videos were kind of short, but this is going to be a longer video. And it's about a vision I had. And yes, I've been getting some sun. <laughs> it's been really nice. Sun is a puzzle, missing puzzle piece in my healing I found. Getting out and getting sun. Obviously, I don't want to burn myself, but getting sun and getting in nature has been an incredibly healing modality for me and I can feel my body utilizing the wonderfulness of the sun so I'll just say that but this is about a vision I had last year a vision of me wearing a cape holding a sword palming a basketball wearing some basketball shorts and um, basketball shoes and and having my necklace on which I I don't know where my necklace is, but anyways, um, in 52 days, like, let me back up. This vision I had, it, it was me, and I was doing a photo shoot, and there was dark, kind of a dark lighting in the pictures, and I, I believe this vision's going to take place in 52 days. <laughs> Sounds in weird, kind of weird to put a number on it, but I just, my body can feel that that's the right moment in time for it. And I'm gonna, I'm, I will manifest a model photographer and I already have some example pictures of what I want the lighting to be and everything to look like. And I'm gonna take the pictures. And one of the pictures is gonna be the cover of my book I write. Of, of overcoming chronic disease and getting in the best health of my life. I, I don't, that's essentially in the book is going to be called Risen from the Ash, something along those lines. Um, I feel full faith and trust in my path. I feel like I am moving forward under my own power right now with no reliance on anyone else. And I know that when this moment happens in 52 days, that it doesn't signal the end of life or the, like, I don't need, it doesn't mean I don't need to do anything else. It, it means, no, I am going to maintain this level of um, activity and effort for the rest of my life. I've been going to the gym six times a week and doing yoga three times a week and juicing regularly and I will keep doing this and I, as I do this I feel myself start to get younger I feel myself starting to feel more balanced in my body and I'm gonna call this video the, the dragon will rise in 52 days I don't, something like that but this this goal this goal or vision I have is, is the driving force in my life right now. It's, it's the North Star compass that I have in my life. And I, and I say that because having this North Star compass in my life is really helping facilitate my healing because it, it, is, the, um, it is the guide. It is what I'm following to, for my purpose. And I know as men, having a purpose trumps everything. It is the most powerful thing we can do as a man is to move, to move forward with a singular purpose towards something. And I feel my, my singular purpose is to rise from the ash, share my story and help others do the same. And all my videos are geared toward that, just little helpful life lessons that have helped me and also sharing various things from my life. Like my last video, I was at a little pub here in Utah and it's a place I go. And um, I'll do more videos like that as I, as I get out and about. I forget to whip out my phone and just video myself. So I will, I will be more cognizant of that and do that. I just want to share my gratitude for all of you, Deborah Lord, Michael Nelson, Shana Banks, uh, Benita Jones, Deborah Christensen, and Deborah Chris Deborah Dingle Mouse Christensen. I hope you're doing well. I haven't 
I haven't seen you for a few weeks on my channel, but I just wanted you to know I'm thinking about you and hoping you are doing well. And everyone else watching and commenting, much appreciation to you. And <clears throat> life is good. Life, life is good. I, I, I've discovered my own power source from within and I've been studying Taoism and Lao, Lao Tzu and Buddhism and really just working incredibly hard on being detached and letting go of things, which is one of the hardest things to do as humans, I think, is to, to let go of the things we want and accept whatever outcomes happen. That's really difficult, but I think it's one of the most powerful things we can do because it puts us in a place of no pressure for anyone. When, when just imagine if you feel pressure for something, even a little bit of pressure, does it, does it cause you to immediately say yes to that thing or does it cause some resistance? So I think it's, it's an incredibly important thing to, um, to be able to detach completely, but still insert yourself into the world. So I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm getting there and that my purpose and one of my biggest purposes in coming to earth was to learn how to let go of all attachment and, and including attachment to my health funny enough, including attachment to my health, because my body, the, the moment, like I, I remember having a moment laying in bed um, a little while ago, it was like many months ago, and I was laying in bed and I remember laying there and saying, I fully accept what's happening to my body, all the stuff, and I just went through all the problems. And I said, I, I accept that this is the reality. And even more than that, I said to myself, and I don't wish this reality to be any different. That was pretty powerful. That means not only did I um, remove resistance, I, I said, I don't want it to be different. This is how it should be. <laughs> the burning and, and all the crap. And I felt goosebumps and like electrical charge through my body when I said that, because that's, that's it. That is, that's like the secret golden key to happiness and peace is to say, here's how reality is. I fully accept it. And that's how it should be. Now, of course, it doesn't mean like, just lay in bed all day and don't do anything. And of course, of course, eat nutritiously and exercise your body and be a joyful presence to all you come in contact with and all the, the good things, be courageous, but do it because that's what you have control over. And you, you emote yourself into the world as that and let reality morph in accordance with you and be accepting of that. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.